This video is going to be a super basic introduction to PHP. All we're going to try to accomplish by the end of this video is create our first PHP file, upload it to our server, and then confirm that it's working. So before we start coding, you might ask, why would I want to learn PHP? Well, let's just walk through a, a simple example. Let's say you create a small website for the company you work for, and the company wants to sell a little bit of company product. For example, maybe a water bottle, a hat, some stickers with the company logo. So you create a web page. You've got two or three pages, one for each product. Maybe you have a simple checkout process using something like PayPal. And things go well. People are purchasing the products and the company decides to expand. So eventually, let's say you, you reach you know, 20, 30, 40 different products. You want to start organizing those products into categories. So you have now a home page, some category listings, and some product pages. Eventually, that's going to be quite hard to maintain. Once you reach 40, 50, 60 products, now you've got you know 60 HTML files, all that need to be maintained. So what you might want to do is integrate a server-side language like PHP. With a language like PHP, instead of creating 60 pages, one for each product, you put all the products into a database and then you create one PHP page that will pull the products out of the database and display them on a web page. So instead of maintaining 60, 70 pages, you now only have to maintain a couple. It's kind of like writing templates. Let's create our first PHP script. I am going to write code using Visual Studio Code. However, you can use any IDE, something like Brackets or Sublime is fine, whatever you prefer. So if you haven't already, create a folder for this project. And let's create a new PHP file called intro.php. So be sure to give it a PHP extension. This is how the server recognizes that this file needs to be um, treated differently than an HTML file. And in this file, let's put our basic HTML tags. And a simple title. In our body, let's add a basic header. And now let's add some PHP. So to add PHP into a document, we open with an open PHP tag. We write some PHP, so let's just say hello world. And then we close our PHP tags. So PHP is a server side language. HTML, CSS, and JavaScript are client side languages. If a visitor requests a page that consists of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, the server simply locates those files, transfers them to the client computer, the computer visiting the web page, and then the browser converts those files into a working web page. However, with PHP, it's a server side language. The interpretation is done by the server. So when a visitor requests a PHP file, the server locates that PHP file, goes through the file, looks for anything within those open and closed PHP tag and converts them from PHP to HTML. It could convert it to other things, but in this case, HTML. Then it takes the result of that PHP script and transfers that to the client computer. So in a sense, PHP creates HTML files kind of on the fly. So your HTML can change based on situations, the database and activity, things like that. So if I want to test this file out, I cannot just open it on this computer. I need to upload it to the server and test from there. So let's save this file. I'm going to use FileZilla. And let's upload this file to my server. Okay, I'm using a domain name just called faker.ca. This is just where I kind of mess around with code. 
and I have a folder called Sandbox. In there, I have my intro file called intro.php. So there is the result of our first PHP script. So if I right click and hit view page source, this is the HTML that that PHP script generated. Notice the PHP tags are gone. So before this file left the server, PHP, the program, went through that file, looked for PHP tags, and converted them to HTML. Now, when you're testing these files, you need a server. So in this example, I uploaded it to my hosting account. However, you can also set up a server locally on your computer, and we'll walk through that in another video. Also in another video, I want to show you kind of the big picture. So before we go through all the different um, syntax of PHP, let's take a larger look at where we're headed. So we're going to take a look at how do I get content from a database into a web page. And the intention of that video is not to kind of learn the whole concept, but just see a sample of the big picture so you know where we're headed over these next series of lessons.